almost everything they teach us about the ancient history is wrong. The origin of man, civilizations and pyramids. of the past was the world of the pyramids. In the 21st century, we need to establish new science, a pyramid science, to explain the true purpose of pyramids. Mother Nature does not make hills with four sides. No secrets, no selection of information. Everything is open for everyone. People can come and we give the opportunity to non-professionals to work, to make discovery. So it's different than any other archaeological project in the world. This project through four dimensions, scientific, energy, spiritual, and healing. Geometrically speaking, this is a pyramid. In 2005, I first came to Visoko to visit the local museum. Mm. And then I saw this. I saw the hill covered so. by soil and vegetation. But I'm looking one side in front of me, second side to the left, third side to the right, the fourth side in the back. Mm. Four sides. Yeah. Triangular face. One triangle, two, three, four. Corners, the same slope from bottom to the top. So, the first year, 2005, I was doing geological core drilling, archaeological trenches, geomorphological analysis. I wrote the book about pyramid discovery. I received a lot of emails of support, 12,000 emails, from all over the world. Yeah, yeah. And I realized this is not a one-man show. 
this is a cultural heritage that belongs to the world. So I established a non-profit foundation called Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation. We started digging. And in the last nine years, from 2005 to 2014, it has become the most active archaeological site in the world. Every year, hundreds of volunteers, and you saw them. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw in the pyramid, yes, pyramid hotel. Yeah. Dozens of experts, scientific conferences, tens of thousands of tourists, researchers, media, are coming to Visoko to support and follow this project. The discovery consists of five pyramids, which I named the Pyramids of the Sun, Moon, Dragon, Earth, and Love. Five pyramids. Five pyramids. Nemojte <laughs> Ita, ma nema odakle, ne mogu da ne mogu izbrojiti sve iz Srbije, iz Crne Gore, da, da, da. Bosne. Od svugde. Dolazu i čak iz Albanije nama dolaze. Dobro. Imam evo melem dobar. Snimite pa stavite tamo nek dođu da kupuju. Ovako, da, da, <laughs> pa ide, da ti kažem, ima piramida. Da. Ja kad sam gore otišla prvi put, ja sam vozgo sašla ko dijete. Tolika je ta energija dobra. Da, 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 da. Onda ta... treba, treba ići na vrh, na... Pa, ili može tu... Nisam ja baš na vrh, nego gore uz ovo džebor, ići pa gore, on će kopalo. Da, da. Tu sam da. išla. O, na vrh da ne govorimo još. Pa onda ima, da ti kažem, tamo u, u tunelu. Aha. Tunel je predivan. Da? Nema šta nema tamo. Tamo je pa stvarno. Da, da, da. da. E, vi ćete vi tamo sa svemirom bez Da, boli. sutra, da, da. Eto. There are 225 stairs until we reach the archaeological trenches. We just did 50 stairs for 200 meters. This is one of our places where we sell the tickets. We sell tickets in the front of the tunnels, sun and moon pyramid. And that's our only source of income. So we have our people who are the guides at the same time, show people and stuff like that. Okay, we can continue. Until 12,000 years ago, when we had ice age here, the climate was very similar, only three degrees less in average than today. Everything north from Austria was covered by ice. There was no Germany, Austria, Scandinavia, 
UK France. Just the ice, which was reaching 3,000 meters in thickness. Everything below Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Greece, southern Italy, no ice at all for last 100,000 years. So the climate has been very pleasant for a very long time here. According to the new science called anthropological genetics, two oldest cultural oases in Europe are, the first one, Basques in Spain and southern France, 55,000 years. The second one, Central Balkan, 38,000 years. So here we have presence of intelligent men, we have food, we have water, we have construction material, we have very good climate, we have all elements for the civilizations. So if Homo sapiens built Bosnian pyramids, we had presence of all the elements. All right, when do you want me to start? Is anybody in charge here or I will be in charge? <laughs> okay, we start in five, four. We are at the northern slope of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. When you look at it from the highway, it has very regular triangular shape. When you get here, you see the bushes, vegetation, and soil. It's been tens of thousands of years since this pyramid has been uncovered. Due to the wind, rain, after so much time, the pyramid has been covered by soil and vegetation. In April of 2006, we started excavation on the Sun Pyramid on all four sides. These were among the first archaeological trenches that we opened. We call it trench number 4C. So we removed about one meter of soil. And below the soil, we discovered this geometrically shaped block. It's clearly rectangular. It has four and a half meters in length, one and a half in width, 45 centimeters. It's seven tons in weight. It has flat top, break at 90 degrees, flat side, another break at 90, flat bottom. In other words, six flat sides and eight breaks at 90 degrees. Perfect geometrical shape. Obviously it has not been made by Mother Nature but by intelligent hands. Next to this block is another one. This one comes approximately to the mid of the first one. Why? Because that's how we build today. Because of the structural stability. We have sent samples to seven institutes for materials in France, Italy, Czech and Bosnia. They all confirmed that this was artificially made concrete. Someone called them geopolymer concrete or synthesized concrete, but this is artificially made. When it comes to concrete, two major properties that determine the quality are the hardness, the harder the concrete, the better the quality, and the water absorption. Less absor absorption, better the quality. Our concrete today are in the range from 10 to 60 megapascals, and this one in the range from 73 to 134. The best quality concrete ever. This is our trench number 12B. We started excavation in the area 2010, 11 and 12. We had removed 20 tons of the material and 3 meters 80 centimeters below the layers of soil and clay we found 
the concrete cover of the pyramid. So, there was a crack which has been all probably thousands if not tens of thousands of years due to the earthquakes. And then once you get inside this crack and you get the below the first layer of concrete then it is like you are already inside the pyramid. Now below the first layer of blocks and the second one we discovered two pieces of fossilized leaves. So obviously during the construction phase the leaves were brought by the wind and they remained there and their age 29,200 years plus minus 400 years according to the radiocarbon dating and that makes this pyramid the oldest one on the planet. As a matter of fact everything that we touch in this project changes our view of ancient history forever. The first pyramids in Europe, the biggest, the largest on the planet, the best orientation to the north among all pyramids on the planet, the best quality concrete on the planet, now the oldest pyramids on the planet, the most extensive underground tunnel network on the planet, and finally the largest ceramic blocks on the planet. Those seven elements change our view of ancient history and history books forever. We're digging. Where? We're digging and digging. Excavating. All the way to China. <laughs> Looking for gold and... Uh... <laughs> oh, we're, we're exposing the blocks. Um, the cement conglomerate. Concrete. Which, uh, the concrete, blocks, concrete yeah. yeah. And uh, we're just exposing it more and cleaning it up to, uh, to make it look uh, presentable for uh, the people that are coming up to, to, to see. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of digging and... Yeah, a lot of excavation and it's a lot of work, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, and by doing that, you can definitely see that this is not made by just nature. And uh, the analysis even prove it now. And, uh, and that's it. So that's very, very interesting to be part of it. Yeah. To, uh, to excavate a bit more, a bit every day. Yeah. Internet? Most of the time, yeah, internet, word of mouth. Uh, people who are very interested in, I don't know, an ancient civilization, uh, pyramids, um, archaeology, from different um, domains, different, uh, I don't know how you say that, but uh, with, diff with a very, very big range of, of um, uh, perspective, or I don't know how to say that, but yeah, people come from different ideas, with different opinions, different and philosophies, yeah. Different philosophies, and they all find out sooner or later what's happening here in Visoko and on the internet yeah, you can find a lot of information and uh, on my side uh, last, last year I met some people who've been there and I knew about this site for many years ago like two or three years ago and last year so this person uh, these people really really uh, encouraged me to come there because I was like mm, I like it I like to drive but I wasn't so sure and these people definitely sold it to me and, uh, and yeah but uh, you know this is confirmation, you know, that yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not a joke, it's not bullshit, it's not a hoax, yeah, it's for real. Yeah. And we can dig it, we can, we can feel it, we can really get intimate with it yeah, yeah. and understand it yeah, because you feel the difference. Yeah. Everyone around you is just so open-minded, you can talk about anything. Yeah. And no one is judging, no one is having a problem. We, mm -hmm. We all have a good uh, circulation of harmonic energy between us, yeah. and we, we all understand each other on such a such a level that you know it's difficult to find in the normal yeah. population, you know. Yeah. But here we all come together, and it's like it's really magic. Good. Yeah. How does it work? Uh, I think there's a head of uh, the project here, uh, Tim, uh, Timothy uh, Moon, and he's pretty much uh, in charge and uh, of the project here now. And uh, he's, uh, he's, he's basically telling, you know, where the people are going to go. You know, um, you know we have uh, people coming from, from different skills, you know, so everybody can add to something, to some benefit. And, um, 
uh, yeah, you know, where, wherever Tim can see that somebody has some skill uh, in something, then they can use them to, to do something, you know, to do, uh, you yeah. know, to, to fulfill a certain department. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these people haven't even been here. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't even come here. But they will tell you it's a hoax. Yeah. You've got to ask yourself, uh, you know, why do they put so much pressure to, to stop the project? Yeah. What's, what's the problem, you know? Let people dig and do it nicely and respectably and there's no problem, you know, we're just discovering. But when you start putting pressure and, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you can ask yourself. It's uh, it's uh, it's a bit interesting to see that the, the some people, some scientists, well, not necessarily scientists, but government and everything, don't want them to do any study there. But they will send them somewhere else where there's maybe no much signification. But still, they would send them there. But here, they don't want. So they no, 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 no. It's like almost like they know something about it, but they don't want. They don't want them to discover it. And most of the time, if you go there, you have to put all the community, scientists, community, and archaeologic, archaeologic people uh, on your back. They, they, they won't um, talk to you anymore. They won't. They won't share anything with you. They will put you. They will ridiculize you. Um, so it's, just, it's a bit. Uh, I guess it's a lot of tension. Uh, on, on, on the shoulder of um, Sam, on the shoulder of Tim, um, people go there. But there's, there's now more and more proof coming out. They, they're using even people coming from the NSA, uh, uh, um, in France, I can't remember the name, but a big, big um, uh, uh, laboratory that doing some research and some measurements that are recognized by the government. So when we're going to get these results, the government and other scientific community will not have other. Um, uh, they, they, they won't. They won't. They will have to to approve it. They will have to say, okay, well, fair enough. Uh, there is something here, but yeah, I guess most of them are a bit scared as well to to find out the truth. Keep it simple. If you don't believe it, come and see it. Yeah. If you're curious enough, you will make your your own choice, and uh, you'll be. I'm sure you will be surprised. Absolutely. Yambakam yachama is Sugandim Pushti Vardanam Uravaru Kamiva Bandanan Rityo Mukshi Amam Ritat Swaha Om Triambakam yachama is Sugandim Pushti Vardanam Uravaru Kamiva Bandanan Rityo Mukshi Amam Ritat Swaha Om Triambakam Yajamahi Sugandim Yes, I was performing some specific firing for purification of the atmosphere. I think it was uh, two or three years back. I found something in the internet because I am handling with this subject uh, of purification by this old knowledge more than uh, 37 years and many times I am in the internet to look where I can go or where can I find other people to tell about pyramid powder, uh, power lamp, something like that and one day I found oh there are pyramids in Bosnia and a friend of mine he also went here and did this firing at the same place here and um, this was then the reason I said I want to come here also. I want to know the difference between the Bosnia pyramids and some pyramid healing I do every day at home. It is something similar I will say, but it is uh, for me also some spiritual traveling here to come to this place and doing this performing at this place to bring also some spiritual healing and atmosphere healing to this place. Visokom sam rođen, znači ovdje sam sad, znači puni 25 godina. O visokom imam mnogo, mnogo toga da kažem, znači stiče turizma i mnogo toga poljoprivrede, sporta i kulture. 
dosta toga imate, znači visokog, znači. Što tiče visokog, znači, trenutno smo, znači, eto je poplan po tim piramidama, znači, piramida mjeseca, piramida sunca. Znači, zadnji neki, znači, deset godina smo, znači, otkli te piramide, će nam, znači, negdje za neke narod dobro došla, za neke nije dobro došla, znači, tako rečeno, znači, u ovom gradu. Znači, historija Bosne i Hercegovine je direktno vezana, vezana za, uh, za Visoko. Ovdje, su, ovdje je krunisan bosanski kralj Frtko prvi kod Romanić. Tako da je i, i grb Bosne i Hercegovine, jedan od grbova, nastao ovdje dole uh, uh, na petli na autoputu u, u Milima Ornautoviću. Znači, i ne samo to, ne samo to, uh, možemo ovdje nabrojati jako puno arheološke lokaliteta, znači i naravno ovdje što vidite na vrhu grada koji je simbol zapravo visokog, to je brdo Visočica na kojem se nalazi stari grad gradina hajde da kažem na kojoj se smjenjivali smjenjivala historija i osvajači od rimskog perioda pa sve do srednjeg vijeka do turske vladavine ona je bila ona je bila aktuelna danas to neki zovu pokušavaju da da taj naziv i to mjesto pretvore u u neki suludi toponim sa nazivom piramide međutim ja sam ovdje došao kao vodič ovdje mi je kuća i ovdje sam vodič od prvog dana kako je se počelo kopati. I ovdje sam proveo iz Amerike, Kanade, Novog Zelanda, iz Amerike, iz Australije, nema države koja nije došla da vidi ove iskope. Prija piramida bio sam tu u tvornici ovuće. Znači poznate naše KTK. Već je to raspa sistema, privatizacija. U tom dolazi Semir, kod ga je Bog posao. Preorijencao smo se na suvenire, na saradnju sa fondacijom. Ja sam član fondacije kao koordinator. Eto, živi se. Oni svi viču da je dobro i da to piramide i sve to, ali hoće novac. Sad je samo u pitanju novac. A Semir Osmanagić nema novca, dao je. Dao je sve o sebe. Ja mislim sad došlo je do Prtova. Semir, doktor Semir, da je tu doveo ljudi mnogo poznati, što nije nijedan državnik naše lijepe gleda. Znači, vrlo pozitivno, kao kad pričamo o kompleksu građevina, u istraživanjima, visoko je postalo poznato u svijetu, zahvaljujući sve našim doktoru Samiru. Opština i kanton, kao država, ovo najveće piramide i najstarije piramide na kugli Zemajskovi, kako su dolazili sručnjaci iz 55 demaja doktore nauka, on tu došli i potvrdili da je to piramide i da je to stvarno to, to. Ali međutim, nije niko zainteresovan ni od države, ni od opštine, ni od kantona, ni od koga. Jedino Temir Osmanagić, ja ne znam kako on može da izdrži ovo. Stvarno, ja mu ne bio ukužnik. Cijela skupina ljudi koji su obrazovani u visoko smatra da je to prevara, I mi o tome ne govorimo, znate. Mi smo tvrdo na stanovištu da nauka mora da prati. Prija, jel, pogotovo poslije rata teška je situacija. Evo sad vidimo kroz grad šetate, govori se pet, šest jezika odjednog. To je velika promjena, to je veliko bogatstvo. Mislim da je sad puno bolje. Valjda će ova naša vlast jednog dana to shvatiti i razumiti.
We are in the front of the underground labyrinth Ramle. The last nine years, it's been becoming not only scientific and research area, but also touristic area. We want to interact our volunteers and researchers and tourists and media from all over the world. We want them to exchange the ideas. For five years now, we've been organizing summer camp for volunteers. Every year, three, four, five hundred young people and those young in their heart are coming to Visoko to work and help us. They work in shifts every year, eight or nine shifts, 14 days each. They are getting unforgettable memories when it comes to science and archaeology, but also friendship. So this country, instead of negative news, is becoming the country where the positive news will be generating. We want to send out to the world news about the archaeology, cultural heritage, friendship, volunteers, tourists, positive stuff. We want to change the image of this country. Under the Valley of Pyramids, Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon, Dragon, Earth and Love, is a huge network of underground tunnels and chambers. They run for tens of kilometers. So far we have cleaned 1,350 meters and from the tunnel entrance we've been moving towards the pyramid. So let's see how that journey looks like. And we hope to find gold. No, I don't hope that I find gold here. La primera vez que yo supe de este lugar fue a través de una foto que se pasó por internet, que era la de la pirámide con el rayo de luz, y me llamó mucho la atención y las pirámides en Europa y tan cerca y tan, o sea, me llamó mucho la atención. Cuando profundicé en el tema me di cuenta de que era un sitio con, con pirámides, pero que tenía polémica el lugar, porque no es aceptado que haya pirámides aquí. Y se empezaron a, a excavar con voluntariado. Eso me pareció también muy interesante, porque te da la oportunidad de ser arqueólogo, aunque solo sea unos días en tu vida. ¿no? Y toda la gente que estos temas me interesan, pues es un que merece la pena y es una oportunidad que no vas a tener en ningún otro lado en el túnel porque la, la pirámide no lo que se pretende es a través del túnel llegar a la pirámide pero hombre hay, hay, hay sensaciones se respira muy bien siendo un túnel muy largo y no se explica porque no hay sistema de ventilación ni nada y se respira muy muy bien la verdad Estas cosas es que son como muy de para que cada quien senta y como cada quien somos muy diferentes pues tenemos como distintas sensaciones pero lo que estamos todos de acuerdo no solo por las mediciones físicas que han hecho sino por, por cómo nos sentimos es que es un sitio que genera salud que estás bien que estás contento que al otro día encontramos una cosa muy curiosa era como una piedra como que se ha usado porque se adapta mucho a la mano muy bien a la mano no sabes que que no es una forma natural, pero vamos, yo de momento no tanto, llevo dos días. <risa> Espero que sí, que encuentre algo grande. Y si no, no importa, porque de todas las maneras hay que hacerlo. We have just entered the underground labyrinth round. From this point to the pyramid, Two and a half kilometers. Two and a half kilometers from here. It is south southeast. Mm -hmm. I discovered this tunnel in 2005. And when we came here, it was very narrow entrance, about 60 centimeters. And people in Visoko call this natural cave Ravne. I went inside, I crawled in, I was looking at the ceiling, and ceiling was half radius. I said, this is not natural, it's artificial. So we started cleaning. To the left, we discovered the tunnel. To the right, discovered another tunnel. To the left, wall, wall, intersection. And then we realized 
This is a huge network of tunnels. The temperature in the tunnels is 12 degrees. 12 degrees. It's yeah. very pleasant. Mm -hmm. In the summer, like today, pleasant. Mm -hmm. In the winter, warm enough, also very pleasant. The is best the, temperature. The same. The, same. the same temperature all year around. <laughs> the same humidity, 75% yeah. all year around. Mm -hmm. The same level of oxygen, 20.5% mm -hmm. all year around. Deeper we go, we breathe better and better. better. Yeah, yeah. And this is very strange. Wonderful. Because in our coal mining facilities, when you yeah. go deep, lack of oxygen. But here, yeah. no. Here you breathe excellent. You go deeper, you breathe better. So that's the genius of the ancient builders. Yeah. So now we can move Proceed. on. Yeah, wonderful. So here we can see two civilizations. Yeah. First civilization who built network of tunnels. And second civilization who closed everything. They sealed all the tunnels off. Mm -hmm. When? In this filling material we find organic material pieces of wood, yeah, yeah. the age 4610 years, so almost 5000 years. This oh. is the time when the tunnel system was sealed off. It was built much, much before. Now, the ancients were choosing the megalithic sites above the energy lines, ley lines, underground water streams, very powerful energy points. Yeah. So below us, ley lines, underground water. So the ancients were smart. They knew when the energy was coming to the megaliths, megaliths keep the energy and then slowly release it. They were systematically closing all the tunnels. Why? They wanted to make sure that nobody in the future will not find its way to the pyramid. To the pyramid. Oh. They wanted to hide a big secret. <laughs> so what we do here, we try to discover what the secret is about. Now, we can try one little experiment. Uh -huh. On this poster there, you can see that it says three realms, three dimensions, physical, energetical, spiritual. And to this other poster, to my left, here I had a group of archaeologists from Croatia. Archaeologists are not very spiritual. So I told them, listen, let's try to do one thing. Why don't you open your hands and keep them 10 centimeters above the megalith, like this. So we can try to do that. And I told them, why don't you close your eyes and try to relax. Mm -hmm. And let's take two deep breaths. In. And out. In. And out. And let's focus on the space between our hands and the megalith. Some people will experience a little wind between our hands and megalith. Some people will feel tingling in their fingers. Some people can feel that energy starts getting through left hand and sometimes through both hands. 
some people feel warm and some people feel cold. So let's hear from you. What do you feel? How about you? Every two meters we have one tunnel. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is big labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. If we try to make tunnels, eight tunnels next to each other, mm. after five minutes everything collapsed. Yeah. So, the builders of the tunnels were very advanced. They mm. had technology. Which technology? We don't know and we know nothing about them. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. So, 5,000 or 30,000 years ago, they were not primitive. They were advanced, yeah. spiritually and technologically. Mm -hmm. Not easy to explain, <laughs> exactly. but to see. Yes. It's quite muddy there. If that mines for you, you will get super super dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see, you have to pass this one, then it's a bit bigger, and then it's really tiny again. Probably you should go there and see it. You want? First aid, I the project. Go. No problem. So you can pass here. I see the partners at the contours. Nešto je? Šta? A i toliko usko ne mene i oni ba. Ne mogu se mimo ići. Ja. Ali nek uđu barem do onog prvog uskog. Njuru, ski, ja stay here. No, it's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. You have to keep the time, so you're not allowed to stay for two, three, four hours within one step, so you have to make breaks. If you make the breaks, then actually nothing can happen. So it's a possibility for the stones to regenerate. So we have to go out and go in and make the breaks. This is important. Not too much people inside. How many people are here? In the rabbit hole, this is a rabbit hole called rabbit hole. We are around five now. So one, two, three, four, and one by the miner. I saw it. It's a local. The a local, local is the miner. He digs and uh, put everything in the stomach. Connection to another tunnel. Actually, we try to go direction uh, the pyramid, and uh, hopefully there is a uh, a main tunnel in which we uh, hopefully can uh, uh, can uh, how is it in English to touch in? Maybe in the next week. Hopefully we can make a connection to that, and hopefully this one is also free. And uh, let's see what's going on then. A little bit away from the pyramids now here, but that's why they hope to get a tunnel who are directly located to the pyramid. But now we are not under the pyramids. Yeah. One day do you think that is going to happen so to the stage here in the tunnel? For sure, there's all this discovering. Hmm. When I look around, there's all this is discovering, and every meter you you go on is discovering. 
but the main discovering should be the connection to the bottom of the pyramid. So this is actually the target, because then you can lift maybe uh, the secret of that. And hopefully we can reach that in the future, in the next future. <laughs> I think it's sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to keep it with you, but you have difficult, it's difficult for you. Nothing can happen actually. You only have to take care that you don't touch with your helmet too much on the ceiling because sometimes some stones are coming but down. Small one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. This is the last station. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you have to move up, guys. <laughs> Step inside there. Uh, in the side tunnel there. Uh. Pass, pass. Tell me, man, what are you doing here? Digging. <laughs> I don't know, not here, but the tunnel is, yeah, is to discover. <laughs> Yeah, this is a normal day for me. <laughs> responsibility here in the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids is to ensure that archaeological processes are followed, uh, that artifact recovery is documented and recorded, and that um, we institute various research projects um, as a result of these artifact discoveries. Uh, we have around about 450 volunteers that work for us each year, so there's a lot of organisation involved there, a lot of supervision. Um, we have a great mystery here that we're trying to resolve. And to resolve that mystery, we um, need to think quite broadly about that. We need to think conceptually different. The people that constructed the, the civilization that existed here and constructed these uh, massive monuments um, did it using a different method of engineering. Uh, their approach to everything was quite different to us. So to solve that, we have to think differently. To apply uh, strictly scientific analysis to this project will probably end up in a dead end. We'll end up with more questions than answers. So we go very conceptually wide in our, um, in, in our capture. Uh, we try and bring that back to a scientific explanation. We institute many, many investigations here that normally would not be undertaken by an archaeological project, uh, but they do deliver real results. And so we are finding that in addition to the material remains that the civilization has left, they've left some other evidence of their existence and we look to try and measure that, describe it, reverse engineer it, and understand what they were doing. In that process, we're, we are discovering uh, new methods of energy production, or we're, we're getting a glimpse of a new en energy production system. Uh, you know, the world at the moment is, is on this uh, track of 
trying to achieve sustainability and free energy. Well, we actually believe it's more about clean energy. Uh, we're trying to understand how that was occurring here in this ancient civilization. Let's start. We have this very interesting artifact that we came across about two weeks ago. It's very unusual. We're not sure what it is, and we're just now starting to uh, write up a technical specification for materials analysis. We really do think that this represents a technology. Whether this is an energy technology or some other technology, we're unsure, but uh, that's the line we're going down now. So we need to do an internal examination without cutting it. It would be very easy to do a dissectional cut, but we destroy the material in the process. So I'm trying to find a laboratory at the moment that will take this on as an entire project. So um, they will have to work with, with all the elements that I'm wanting to understand rather than sending it to different universities or laboratories around the world. So that's a very good example of some of the material that we're getting. Sé que excava y sé que eh, trabaja, hace adaptaciones, o dice él que hace adaptaciones, y que tiene laboratorios. Entonces el, el aparato metodológico es como muy científico, ¿no? Pero, pero lo que no es científico es la captura de la información. muy seria, pero este, este tipo de voluntariado sin ningún tipo, no sabemos si le han dado formación, ¿qué les han dicho? Claro, ¿qué les han dicho? Lo que ellos después dicen, una serie, un discurso preestablecido ya en el que tiene que ir así. Si eso encima ya tiene una base de por sí, de la fe y todas estas cosas, apague, vámonos. Well, people pay 25 euros a day to dig at his sites. Now, when you take into account that a factory worker in Visico earns about nine euros a day, they are paying nearly three days wages of someone who, work, who lives and works in that town to excavate. So this money is going to select businesses who are, who are with us managing in his way of working. A lo mejor este señor sí que ha descubierto algo, ¿no? La, la, el problema es la forma de, de darlo a conocer o la forma de intervenir sobre ese elemento. ¿no? Pues te decía que a lo mejor eh, sí que sería conveniente, aunque esta persona llevara la investigación o, o no, ¿no? De haber hecho un, un estudio previo, ¿sabes? Antes de empezar a excavar o antes de lanzar esta noticia. Me ha fascinado ¿no? cuando, lo, cuando lo he conocido porque me, me parece algo de, de una envergadura eh, eh, bastante importante. Pero claro, el, yo el problema que le veo, sin ser arqueólogo, solamente aficionado, eh, es eh, quizás la falta de transparencia que, que he visto en, en, en los trabajos y en las explicaciones que, que nos daban los, los responsables de, la, de las excavaciones. Alors, ce qui m'a marqué, c'est l'aspect un petit peu amateur de la chose. À savoir que les, les, les sondages, les, les creusements, ça s'appelle des sondages, étaient faits de façon assez anarchique, un petit peu partout à droite à gauche. On ne comprenait pas la méthodologie qui avait été mise en place. Et surtout, ce qui nous a frappé, c'est que quand on a commencé à vouloir parler d'archéologie avec le responsable, Ricardo Brett, qui était sur place, on s'est rendu compte assez rapidement qu'on ne se comprenait pas parce que disant que, mis à part le discours un peu formaté pour les touristes, il n'y avait pas vraiment de, de quoi échanger sur la chose précisément avec des, avec des termes archéologiques précis. Et donc on avait été assez déçus et euh, on avait essayé de relancer plusieurs fois vraiment pour avoir des informations précises de spécialistes, quoi, des professionnels. Et en fait, on s'est rendu compte qu'il n'y avait, y avait, y avait, avait pas ce discours-là qui était prévu du tout. Quoi. Well, he claims he went from being an, uh, an amateur archaeologist to now claiming himself as an archaeologist. I have, I have big issues with someone claiming they're an amateur archaeologist. Archaeology is a profession, and a serious, to me anyway, a serious profession. You can't claim to be an amateur doctor because you watch House, in the same way that you can't claim to be an amateur archaeologist because you watch National Geographic. It's just complete nonsense. Parler de choses qui étaient, qui étaient, qui, qui à notre sens étaient vraiment très farfelues, à tel point c'est que quand on était sur le, le, le tumulus de Vratnica, 
que nous, on estime totalement naturel. À un moment donné, on était tellement perplexes qu'on était vraiment très à l'écart du groupe pendant la visite. Et à ce moment-là, pour nous récupérer un petit peu, on nous a dit qu'on allait faire quelque chose d'exceptionnel. On allait se mettre en haut du tumulus. On allait tous se mettre en cercle, se prendre par la main et lever les mains en l'air pour prendre l'énergie. Et là, on s'en dit qu'effectivement, oui, là, il y avait un énorme souci. Quoi, parce que mélanger les deux, mélanger les énergies telluriques, mélanger les énergies de la Terre et l'archéologie, c'était assez étrange quand même. Et que les deux étaient relativement incompatibles. En tout cas, dans une démarche scientifique euh, carrée. Voilà, dans une démarche scientifique carrée, les deux étaient tellement mélangés que ça nous paraissait plus que douteux. Voilà. Le problème aussi, c'est que ces mesures faites par Osman Aguitch ou les gens qui viennent euh, d'un petit peu partout, on voit arriver plein de savants un peu farfelus qui viennent mesurer plein de choses sur les pyramides, euh, ces mesures, elles ne sont jamais publiées. On n'a pas le protocole. On ne sait pas euh, qu'est-ce qui a été mesuré, à quel endroit, pendant combien de temps, avec quel appareil. Donc on ne peut rien en tirer. La science, c'est pas ça. La, la science, pour qu'une mesure, on puisse s'appuyer dessus pour essayer de bâtir des hypothèses explicatives, il faut d'abord qu'on ait des mesures euh, contrôlables, qu'on puisse répéter. Si on n'a pas un protocole de mesure, euh, on ne peut pas vérifier que le phénomène existe. Euh, réellement, lo, lo... Lo peligroso también de esto es que, poniendo tanta atención mediática sobre el asunto de las pirámides y demás, lo que ocurre es que se quitan del foco mucho, muchos otros elementos patrimoniales y arqueológicos que existen en Bosnia y en toda la zona de, lo, de, de, de allí, eh, que quedan desamparados tanto del Estado como de la atención científica y que se acaban perdiendo, se acaban destruyendo y, y allí está el verdadero daño patrimonial. It's terrible. Uh, when you go to, when archaeologists from this country go abroad to present, the country has been diminished in the eyes of archaeologists abroad. There's a massive mistrust of the country, an idea that academics here aren't serious. People always want to talk about the pyramids in a joking way, and it really damages the serious academic careers of archaeologists here and the reputation of the country in academic circles. Demasta. El cómo, se, el cómo se construye el discurso científico, ¿no? el cómo se puede imitar ese aparato eh, tecnológico y luego intentar derivar de eso un, un, un constructo que él quiere vender como científico. Para tener una démarche científica, hay que se prestar también a la crítica, hay que aceptar de, de decir que no tenemos certitude, que tenemos des hipótesis y que vamos a testar esas hipótesis. No es para nada la forma en que procede Osman Aguitch. Él afirma. Y después, él choisit los elementos que pueden ir en el sentido de lo que él afirma. Él no tiene nada de démarche científica. Pero el problema es que cuando mm, los científicos eh, entran en discusión o, o quieren rebatir ¿no? estos argumentos desde el punto de vista científico, tenemos dos posturas. ¿no? Los que no quieren entrar a debatir, porque es la oposición por excelencia, ¿no? o sea, en realidad es el reírnos de lo que está haciendo, que es lo que estamos haciendo ahora. La uh, comunidad community will never listen, and the non alternative community either don't have the time to disprove an archaeological site or to or have Uh, no interest in it anyway. Sin infinidad de historias siempre como que vamos un poco con las, con las uñas afuera, ¿no? Como que de primeras ya pensamos que, que no es bueno porque no lo hacemos nosotros. Y muchas veces nos limitamos precisamente a eso, a hacer como una especie de caza de brujas, ¿no? De decir, ¿no? Criticar, reírnos de lo demás sin parar realmente a, pensar, a pensarnos por qué surge todo eso, ¿no? Y qué alternativas estamos ofreciendo nosotros, ¿no? Porque al final es muy fácil criticar, pero ¿qué estamos haciendo nosotros? desde nuestro campo ¿no? para, para ofrecer alternativas a eso. Y yo creo que eso es fundamental, reflexionar sobre qué responsabilidad tenemos nosotros en eso.
Every year, we organize international scientific conference on Bosnian pyramids, which we call the Hidden History Conferences. In 2014, we have a number of speakers, some of them talking about the global issues on ancient civilizations and connection to the ancient technologies. And some of them doing very specific testing, analysis, and dating on what we have here in the heart of Bosnia and Visoko. So every year we add to accumulation of the knowledge about Bosnian pyramids. When you come with the new progressive ideas in any walk of life, there are people who want to keep the status quo. It can be archaeology, it can be science, it can be culture, politics, media, corporate world. The bigger idea you are introducing, the more obstacles. In our case, we are bringing the whole new paradigm. Now all of a sudden, everything has to change. So we are very open, we have no secrets, we have nothing to hide. And did we have some people trying to work against us? Yes, sometimes you have so-called journalists, they come and uh, they write untruths. You have some people among volunteers, they try to contaminate the water in the tunnels. And of course you have a local mafia, you know, putting a lot of pressure on us. You have some politicians who don't like us, who want us to leave. You have some, again, municipalities sending inspectors every month trying to find some wrongdoing. So a lot of pressure from local to global level. But we don't care about that. We do everything legally and we stay as the most open project in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, respected media, I'm very glad to meet you here in Sarajevo and uh, in front of the participants and speakers of the 5th International Scientific Conference on Bosnian Pyramids, Hidden History 2014. I'd like to say that uh, this year's conference Voilà, c'est une histoire qui est quand même désespérante. C'est désespérant au sens où, où on a beau euh, expliquer, montrer qu'il n'y a pas de. Qu y a aucun élément scientifique qui, qui va dans le sens d'Ospan Vaglitch, qu'il qu dénature les, les rapports scientifiques qu'il a, qu'il qu modifie les rapports écrits par ses propres, son propre personnel, donc ses archéologues en particulier, pour leur faire dire ce qu'ils ne disent pas. Enfin bon, il y a quand même beaucoup de manipulations, beaucoup de, de mensonges, de choses cachées. Et il continue, et il continue. Après, c'est vrai que cette colline, elle est, elle est étrange. Elle est vraiment étrange. Et moi, par certaines indiscrétions, euh, par des gens qui sont allés là-bas et qui étaient archéologues et qui sont allés un petit peu anonymement, ils m'ont dit qu'ils sentaient qu'il y avait quelque chose de vieux, d'ancien, d'étrange, mais voilà, sans aller beaucoup plus loin. C'était juste une impression. Quoi. Mais euh, ouais, je pense qu'il faut qu'ils qu cherchent. Je pense qu'il faut qu'ils cherchent. Voilà. Parce qu'il n'y a, a pas forcément rien non plus. Claro, estamos hablando de la propuesta de una sola persona, ¿no? que es el que ha decidido investigar ese sitio, lanzar una propuesta que puede ser más real o más ficticia, ¿no? pero supongo que debería crearse una comisión incluso internacional de, de arqueólogos o de gente relacionada con el patrimonio o la, la UNESCO o quien fuera, ¿no? que investigara ese sitio y realmente 
dictará si realmente se trata de un yacimiento o de, o de una falsedad. C'est fascinant sur ce que ça nous apprend sur la nature humaine, le fonctionnement d'Internet, puisque bon, le succès d'Osmanagic vient d'Internet, c'est clair. Hein, sans Internet, ça n'aurait jamais décollé son histoire. Après, moi, ce que j'attendrai, c'est surtout un livre, un livre assez conséquent qui fasse le bilan de toutes les fouilles, qui puisse permettre de poser sur le papier des analyses, des méthodes, des résultats. Et, et à partir de ce livre-là, véritablement commencer à discuter argument contre argument pour réfuter, pour réfuter ou, ou valider certaines hypothèses et certaines démarches. Eh, eh, tiene su, es, o sea, su construcción de personaje forma parte de su marketing. Él se ha construido a sí mismo y se construye como un gurú. O sea, es algo más que un arqueólogo. Es, es el que guía ¿no? a, a los demás por, por el camino que él quiere ver. Eso no es arqueología. Aquí hay c'est emporté la conviction, qui, qui, qui a un côté euh, euh, chaleureux, convaincu quand il parle. Euh, euh, S'il avait mis son énergie et ses moyens au service de, de l'archéologie, de la vraie, je pense qu'il aurait pu faire de grandes choses. The meaning of the pyramid does exist. Uh... Whatever we measure, whatever we discover, whatever we think the pyramid is, uh, it's useless without people. And uh, we emphasize the meaning of the pyramids. It's a big thing. You know, like having you here and myself here at this place, at this time, it's a huge thing, even though we are not aware of this. We, are, we might realize that, that maybe Tomorrow, in six months, in two years, in ten years. But right now, we are not aware the meaning, why we are here and who we are, and why we are talking to each other, why are you interviewing me, why are you filming all this. So, what is real, really? Are we projecting all this? Is this really what this pyramid, or is it just collective projection, collective dream? So, so yeah, I don't take anything seriously. I don't care really what the guys here are talking about, but I'm interested in people. I'm interested in you, in you. I'm glad I make friendships with you and with many other people who are sitting there. Then we get in trouble, you know. We have to be like kids, childlike, you know. Enjoy it, have fun. And that's all about. And that is what this pyramid is about. Can you take off the hat for the camera? Yes, of course. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs>